Twinkly, best known for lighting up some impressive Christmas trees, but they are so much more. I have wanted to test out Twinkly for so long. Smart lighting is my favorite. Don't get me wrong, door locks, water leak sensors, and smart switches are all useful, but lighting can take a room from this to this. I love how incorporating colorful lighting can really transform my home, and I enjoy the challenge of coming up with new and useful automations to get the most out of my setup. I've had this channel for just over two years, but my smart home journey started before that. And even though Twinkly added HomeKit support over a year ago, this is my first time trying Twinkly. I know, unacceptable. So needless to say, I'm pretty pumped to share Twinkly feedback. The good, the bad, and what could be even better in the future. Today I'm going to show you two Twinkly products, Twinkly Dots and Twinkly Flex. I'll show you what they can do and how I'm using them in my HomeKit smart home. The Twinkly lineup. They have their super popular string lights, perfect for Christmas trees. I've always used a smart plug for my tree, which is great for turning the lights on and off, but I can't change the color or light temperature between cool and warm. Twinkly gives you the ability to do both while taking it to a whole new level with effects. Twinkly has one with white ambiance, so you can adjust the whites between warm and cool light. They call it their gold and silver edition, which I have to admit is a pretty creative name considering this is for the holidays. Then there's their RGB plus W, which gives you 16 million colors plus warm white, though a little less options on the cool white side. Finally, there's also a standard RGB for those that only need color and are not concerned about whites. Sticking with the Christmas theme, they have icicle lights that are outdoor rated and might give your neighbors a run for their money when it's time for the holidays. These look super cool and I absolutely wanna try them out. They also have twinkly curtains, festoon lights. They have twinkly lines, which is an addressable light strip. Twinkly squares for creating some truly unique art in your home, and twinkly clusters which can go inside and out and look pretty amazing. Some really cool and unique products to add some fun and personal flavor to your smart home. Yes, they work with Apple Home, but also the other major ecosystems, including Google, Alexa, Homey, and Razer Chroma. Today though, let's talk about twinkly dots and flex. Dots are sort of like fairy lights. Unlike LED light strips that are meant to be hidden to provide diffused accent lighting, the dots are meant to be seen, with one LED positioned every five centimeters. I have the 200 LED edition, but there's also a 60 and 400 edition, and they come in both black and clear depending on which will fit your space best. There are so many great places, and where you decide to put them will help you choose between the 60, 200, and 400 LEDs. There were some places I considered, but my LEDs were either too long or too short. These lights have a length of just under 20 feet, so definitely measure your space when deciding how many LEDs you need. Unlike a traditional light strip, you can't just cut them or extend them, though you can purchase additional twinkly dots and easily group them together, though they will have their own power supply. On the 200 light version, the power supply is in the middle with two strips of lights that branch out. Just something to keep in mind when considering where to install these. I didn't realize initially, and once I did, I was able to factor this into how I mounted the lights to try to hide the power supply as much as I could. With so many options, it was hard to decide where to put these, but since it was my daughter's birthday, we thought we'd put them in her bedroom, and trust me, she was pretty excited. To light up her entire room, it would require multiple packs. 200 was more than enough though to put some lights along the top of one of her walls and down towards her bed. She often hangs out on her bed and reads a book. <clears throat> I said a book. Like I said, she often hangs out on her bed reading a book, so her lights are positioned perfectly for her. Installation itself was easy using the included adhesive. You don't need to adhere each dot, just every few. Originally, I didn't add enough adhesive and it started to fall down. Luckily, it was pretty easy to add more since there was lots left over. Twinkly Flex is also meant to be seen. It most closely resembles neon lights that you may be more familiar with. It's basically a flexible LED tube to create some fun shapes and patterns on your wall. I have the two meter version, but it also comes in a three meter version. This can't be extended, but it can be grouped together with multiple flex packs by mapping them together in the Twinkly app. The hard part here is really coming up with the shape. There are four templates included, which will make the installation process much easier if you're particularly digging any of them. They're cool, but I specifically wanted to pick something a little... Actually, Dad, I wanted to pick something different from my room. My first thought was to create the Apple logo. I mean, how cool would that look in my studio? I played around with it, but I just couldn't quite get the shape right. And instead of accepting a mediocre Apple, my daughter convinced me that the flex should go in her room as well. 
Together, we Googled some ideas and came up with a cloud, which I think turned out really nicely. Twinkly includes some straight and 90 degree connectors to help with your shape. It does take some playing around with to get it right though. If you're not using a template like me, that's totally okay, but take your time and really plan it out before fixing it to the wall. Don't be afraid to add the connectors on to start to form your shape. That really helped when creating the cloud. The connectors have an adhesive that seemed to work well. I mean, they haven't fallen off yet. Or you can also screw them in for something more permanent. One thing I think that Twinkly could do is provide more templates or even have downloadable templates on their website that you could print out on multiple pages. Twinkly products are HomeKit compatible, though there's no code included in the box or on the device, and I was certainly confused about this, but don't worry, it's actually quite simple. Start by downloading the Twinkly app if you don't already have it, and then add your Twinkly devices. The app will give you basic instructions for adding these. Once the products have been added, then you can just go into settings for each device, and there's an option for HomeKit, then you can just digitally add them to Apple Home. So super cool and easy. Overall, the installation process was simple enough, though it did take me a couple of attempts to get the dots added. Once I did get the lights added though, I didn't have any issues after that. HomeKit support is limited since you can't set effects right in Apple Home. Part of this is a restriction with Apple Home, though other companies like Nanoly, for example, can allow you to sync your scenes into HomeKit. So that would be a really nice future enhancement. So while the effects are not available in Apple Home, you can still control the power, adjust the brightness, and change the color of your twinkly lights. My daughter has a Philips Hue light switch in her room that I've set up in Apple Home. The bottom off button activates a scene that turns off all of the lights in her room, including yes, twinkly dots, and flex. This means with a single push of a button, all of her lights will turn off. These Hue remotes are great. I will say though that while they control Hue lights basically instantly, they can take several seconds when controlling other scenes and devices in Apple Home directly. Just something I wanted to mention. You can use Siri to turn the lights on, which will turn your lights to their previous state, including an effect that was initially activated in the Twinkly app. Okay, now to the really impressive stuff, Twinkly effects. Adjust the color here and control the brightness, or set an on or off timer. During the setup process, you'll use your phone's camera to map the lights so the app can detect all of the lights and accurately play the different effects. The same process of mapping lights can also be done to group similar lights together. Since both flex and dots are RGB in the same area, I can use my phone's camera to map these lights and create a group so these effects will play together. An unusual behavior I wanna point out after grouping both my flex and my dots. Here I have twinkly cloud, which is flex and twinkly dots. If I turn off the twinkly cloud, then both will turn off. I can turn them back on just like that. I could also change the color if I wanted to. If I turn off twinkly dots, then just the dots will turn off, but they'll actually turn right back on. Just give it a few seconds. There we go, same if I were to change colors, then the same thing would happen. So basically, these two devices are grouped together in the Twinkly app, but not the Home app. So what happens when I group them together in the Home app? Now I have one tile in Apple Home, I've called it Twinkly, and it works perfectly. I can turn the lights off, turn the lights on, I can dim the lights, and of course, change the color. So if you have more than one Twinkly device that you want to group together, my recommendation is to group it not only in the Twinkly app, but also in Apple Home. This is where having multiple Twinkly products can really get pretty epic. Choose from lots of options or download more. There's almost an endless collection to choose from. And if that's not enough, create your own. Simply use your finger to highlight an area and assign a color. Pretty awesome, but wait, there's more, and that is Twinkly Music. This is a dedicated device that connects to any USB outlet, brick, or power bank. This is an additional expense, but unlike some cheaper alternatives that rely on your phone's microphone, this one works a lot better. This is really taking your lights to the next level. It's not just having epic dance parties, though you can do that as well, but it's also great for just adding some nice effects to some calmer, relaxing music with options for classic, ambient, fluo, chill out, and pop. From there, you can just select things like sparkles, bubbles, psycho sparkles, and Nova. I also want to point out that there's a physical controller on each of these devices to power your lights, and that could be really useful, but based on where I've set it up, it's actually a little inconvenient. What would be useful is a wireless remote, though this no doubt would be quite costly. Want to get the most out of your lights? Well, the Lloyds have your back, and here are our faves. Get flex and dots into your HomeKit scenes and let your smart home do the hard work.
Aw, oh, look at her, she's sleeping so soundly. Not for long. But wait, I don't want to deal with a teenage bear this morning, so let's do this gradually and set this amazing human up for a great day. Create some automations to turn on her lights and gradually increase the brightness minutes before her alarm goes off. It's 3 p.m., she's just gotten home from school, and it's time to get cracking on that homework. She can use her flick button for some bright, cheery lights to help her be more productive. Oh look, her friend came over to hang out. Check those effects out, I'm impressed. Again, keep in mind that these effects are not in HomeKit, so they need to be activated in the Twinkly app. Whether your kids, family, or friends are over, this really adds to the room and creates a pretty energetic environment. Check out those smiles. After all that fun, it's time to start to chill so you can get your body and mind ready for bed, and it's so important for kids. Ashlyn and I walked through setting up the scenes together so that she could choose what would help her feel the most zen. Sleepy over here is ready for bed. Hit the Hue remote or flick button and off to sleep she goes. The Twinkly app is easy to use. My daughter downloaded it for herself and she really enjoys, well, let's just ask her. Here are some of my favorite scenes. Night sky. Rainbow. I also really like snake. And when I'm looking for a little bit of extra fun, unicorn sun. And I also love having dance parties with my little brother. These lights are pretty cool, but of course, they're not perfect. First, why can't I import effects into HomeKit? The HomeKit support was a big deal when it was added. It's way easier than having to rely on HomeBridge to get these into Apple Home. Still, I wish there was a way to import some of these effects into HomeKit so that I could include them into my various scenes and automations. I also want a schedule option and I was actually really surprised not to see this. You can do this in HomeKit, but of course you can't use the effects, so you're kind of out of luck there. There is a timer feature that you can use on the Twinkly app, but it's a simple on at one time and off at another time. You can't set up multiple timers and you can't set it up for different days of the week. Would this be an easy software update? I mean, I'm not a developer, but it's a change that I'd like to see Twinkly make in the future. Twinkly music is awesome, but it would be even better if there was a built-in microphone on each of the Twinkly devices. What I also don't love is the blue LED light that shines brightly, and there's no way to turn this off. Now, not a big deal if you're not in a bedroom, but for my daughter, this was a bit of an issue, and we had to add some electrical tape in order to hide it. Twinkly dots start at around $75 and go up to $260 for 400 lights. The flex is $150 for two meters and $190 for three meters. That's based on the Twinkly website though, and many of these prices were cheaper when I checked on Amazon. You can decide if that's in your budget, but I will say this is a unique product that looks pretty impressive. For me, this is a product worth an investment in a few key areas of your home. I can already picture Christmas 2023. The tree is screaming for twinkly strings, clusters on the mantle, and outside could really use some icicles. Okay, okay, I just want it all. Hopefully though, this video helped to highlight that twinkly products go way beyond just the holiday season. Twinkly is sold from major retailers such as Amazon, Best Buy, Rona, and Walmart, and I'll include links in the description. Consider helping out the channel if you're looking to add some Twinkly to your smart home. I also wanna thank Twinkly for sending me these lights for my honest review. It was really so much fun testing these out. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.